how to launch a book, how to create not just one more sales page or fancy sales video, because you know what? The world doesn't need any more of those. But what the world does need is more fun, a, a party, an event. And in this video, I'm going to share how I created a book launch event that engaged people. Now think about that. That's not a view or an impression, but people being interested and in even better taking action, sharing my book, buying my book, signing up to my list. I'm going to break it all down so you can do the same very thing. That's coming up next here on Brian G. Johnson TV. Brian G. Johnson. Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson helping you to stake your claim and amplify your message. And the difference is simple. Amplified messages move people to action. And that's the one thing that we want as entrepreneurs. And in this video, this is video number three of the Magic Bullet Book series, I want to share with you how I launched my book, Trust Funnel. And again, in this video, part three, I'm going to share with you how I transitioned from sharing the process of writing my book, how I transitioned from sharing my physical book, in other words, once I got uh, copies of my physical book, I mailed them out to peers and influencers. <laughs> Let me tell you, I had all kinds of success with that. And that set me up for massive success in phase three of the Magic Bullet book system. And in this video, I want to break down exactly what phase three is and how you can duplicate it with your book launch. Now, for me, what I wanted with my book launch was to gain visibility, to build a bigger list, and to drive sales of my book. All of these things together would allow me to move forward and reach a higher level in my business. Now, in phases one and two, I talked about the sharing. Now, if you haven't watched those videos, and you're an author or you want to learn about leveraging social media, check out those videos in the YouTube card. I'll make sure to link to those right here and right now. Now in this step, after I had sent out my book, I really needed to ensure that I was prepared to gain all the goodness that was going to come my way. And what I did in order for that to happen was to create an author website. And really the website I created was more of a book launch website. And I, I took the time to really think through the phases. And basically there's a few phases, about two or three phases that you want to be prepared for when you start sending out books to peers and influencers. Now the first phase is when your book isn't available yet, right? It's going to release in the coming weeks or maybe even a month or two. And yet people are going to share your book. That's going to bring visibility to your brand as well as your book. And you can capitalize on that. So what do you do? Well, first of all, make sure that you take screen captures. If anybody shares anything about you or your book or results, always take a screen capture and save. Later, when it comes time to create that book launch website, you'll have lots of social proof that you can leverage, which will help you to sell more book. Really, a, a successful launch of anything is all about creating a strategy, implementing the strategy, and leveraging anything good that comes along the way. So as people shared my book, I created screen captures, and later I incorporated those screen captures into my book launch page, the sales page. That's phase two of my author website. And basically phase two was uh, a headline, a very, very short bullet. This is what I got, a book that will help you to amplify your message across the digital marketing platforms, whether you're on YouTube or Facebook, or maybe you're creating your own blog. That's what I got, Trust Funnel. 
then this is what it'll do for you. It'll allow you to build a list, make money, and again, amplify your message. So that was kind of the top, and then I had lots and lots of bullet points. You're gonna learn this, and this, and this, and, and this again. This is super, super powerful because even if people don't read all the, the bullet points, you're really making it easy for people to understand the value that you're offering because you've got bullet after bullet of what your book will do for those that buy your book. So that's super powerful. You can do that too. And then after that, I had tons of testimonials. And it wasn't just a testimonial. It was a testimonial from peers and influencers who had a picture of my book. I created the screenshot, and then I incorporated those image, images onto the website. That's social proof. That's one of the, uh, and again, stick with me here. I mean, what's really cool is this stuff is scientifically proven to work, and it did. So I incorporated the pictures onto the website, and, and that was pretty awesome. So as people shared the book, I was able to capture pictures. Furthermore, that drew great amounts of visibility to my book and to my brand. And that's really the next phase of what you wanna do. So as you start to create your book launch website, understand that you can really break it up into two very different phases. There's the phase prior Right? This is the book launch date and, and every day you're leading up to the book launch and more and more people are sharing your message and that allows you to basically share your book launch URL. And before you launch, you have a very simple sales page. I call it a splash page. And your splash page doesn't have all those bullet points. It doesn't have all those testimonials. All it has is a headline, trust funnel launches on this date or something to that effect a very short uh, video, and then below that, maybe like share this page uh, with your friends and peers. And I always like to make it fun and engaging because it feels less like a sales message. And we all know, you know, people hate to be sold to, but they love to buy. So by creating something that's a little fun and different and creating like, hey, do this, right? Take this action, call of action, share this page, and you'll feed a poodle. I've got two at home and they're pretty hungry. People shared, in fact, my book launch page was shared 970 times at the time of this video recording. So that's what the, the book launch page website looks like before you launch. It's a headline, it's a simple video based on what your book is about and what it'll do for people. That's so simple, this is classic Frank Kern, and it really makes it easy for people to understand the value that you're gonna add quickly. This is what I got. It's a book that will help you not just to create content, but to amplify that content so people act and you can increase your business. So that's all the video is, and then below that it's, hey, share this. Oh, and by the way, Add your name and email address to be notified immediately when Trust Funnel goes live. Now what this does is as you're getting closer and closer to your book launch date, people will add their name and email address to your list. And when your book does lit launch, you've got a list of people that have raised their hand and said, hey, you know, I'm interested in learning when your book officially launches. Furthermore, you can contact those people in the future and you can share and add value to their life. And in the process, you can increase your business overall. So that's really what phase three is all about. It's creating a book launch and, and, and leveraging all that goodwill that you're going to build up once you begin sending out your physical book. And again, I talk about exactly the strategy that you want to use when you send people stuff in the mail. There's a good way, there's a better way, and there's the best way. And I'll share uh, what I did, and it was tremendous. Now, that is uh, what you can do, and you can move forward with the same strategy. And by the time you transition from uh, sharing to selling, and your book does launch, you'll have a list of hundreds of people that have raised their hand and said, I'm interested in, in buying your book when it comes available. 
Furthermore, you will have gained so much visib visibility online based on your activities. Now, when I moved forward and began to, uh, to share my book with peers and influencers, my followers grew by about 1,500 in a few weeks. And today, my follower count uh, consistently it grows and grows based on what I've done in the past. And a big part of that was my book launch. Now coming up in the next video, I want to share with you what I did in the next step that really took uh, my results to a whole nother level. And not a lot of people do this, but when I used this and I attached the right kind of poof pixie dust to it, all kinds of amazing things happen. So here's what you're going to want to do. Make sure you subscribe to my channel right now, Brian G. Johnson TV, so you don't miss a beat when it comes to uh, exactly what I did to engage and get all kinds of peers and influencers on board with my book launch. That's coming up in the next video. I'll see you soon. Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson. You know what? Poof! Pixie dust.